Before finding love with fellow country singer Trisha Yearwood, Garth Brooks was married for 15 years to another woman. Brooks and his first wife, Sandy Mall, met and married in the 80s, but by the new millennium, they had called it quits. Mall and Brooks met in the early 1980s, but sources disagree over how the two actually found one another. According to some, the two first met when Brooks was a bouncer at the Tumbleweed Ballroom in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Mall was reportedly about to take part in a fight in the ladies' restroom and met Brooks after she got her hand stuck in a wall. Another story claims that Brooks and Mall met as dancing partners on the Tumbleweed Ballroom's dance floor. Whether they met in the bathroom or on the dance floor, both Brooks and Mall were students at Oklahoma State University, Stillwater. During the early days of their romance, they found joy in the simple things in life and their dates consisted of walking around campus. In this time together, the couple bonded over music and married in 1986, following a whirlwind love affair. They moved to Nashville a year later, just as Brooks was starting his music career. Once he began releasing studio albums, success came quickly for Garth Brooks. His first record reached number two on the country charts in 1989. No Fences, released in 1990, beat that record with 23 weeks as a number one album. Along with Brooks's career, his family was also growing. During the 1990s, he and Maul had three daughters together, Taylor, August, and Allie. Speaking in the documentary Garth Brooks, The Road I'm On, Maul shared that the time she and Brooks spent apart is what truly harmed their marriage. We both grew apart really, really quickly. Another difficulty in their marriage became apparent even earlier on. In an interview on The Ellen Show, Brooks recounted his first meeting with his current wife, Trisha Yearwood. He said, It's strange because I felt that feeling like when you just meet your wife, but I've been married for 13 months. Brooks knew he had a connection with Yearwood immediately, but felt at the time that he needed to stay committed to his union with Maul. By 2000, however, Garth Brooks and Sandy Maul were seeking a divorce. In an interview with The Tennessean, Brooks shared that he was going through a lot of life changes at the time. His mother had died and he announced his retirement from the music business, keeping a promise he had made to his young daughters. The couple's divorce was finalized on December 17, 2001. Maul received a $125 million settlement, making it one of the most expensive divorces of all time. After the divorce, Brooks shifted his focus to his family. Both Maul and Brooks maintained an active co-parenting schedule for 14 years while their daughters grew up, and their children saw both parents in the morning and evening during this time. Brooks told the Tennessean, if you did what was right for the kids, you were going to do what was right for you. Brooks married Trisha Yearwood in 2005, and their relationship is still going strong. Brooks and Maul remain on good terms, too. After their daughters became adults, Brooks returned to touring in 2014 and reportedly earns nearly $100 million per year when he tours. At home in Oklahoma, Maul continues to pursue her love of wildlife as one of the founders of the Wild Heart Ranch. She was also on hand to support her youngest daughter, Allie Colleen, when she performed at Nashville's historic Grand Ole Opry. Following the release of the new documentary, Brooks told Us Weekly that he learned a lot from Maul's comments in the film and still holds her in high regard. He said, She was phenomenal. I was gone so much on the road during our marriage. There were things I guess she was trying to tell me that I didn't hear until this biography. It's rare you get to hear the other side. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite country stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.